future of cryptocurrencies and blockchain. Let's bring in Ethereum co-founder and founder of Consensus, a software company based on the Ethereum platform. Joe Lubin. Joe, welcome to the show. Great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. Um, so just can you break down consensus? This is sort of it, it makes that interface a little bit easier. In terms uh, of using consensus builds software, uh, mostly in the Ethereum ecosystem. Uh, we uh, build software for corporations, for governments, uh, enabling us to move from siloed walled garden systems to shared, trustworthy, uh, fluid, collaborating infrastructure. Uh, we also build a lot of the uh, infrastructure for the public Ethereum ecosystem, enabling us to process around 6 billion requests per day from the public system, and we build lots of applications on the Ethereum platform. In terms of the platform, people will say that the cryptocurrency that is aligned with that platform, so Bitcoin to blockchain, Ether with Ethereum, yeah. uh, that the success of that currency, that's sort of like the first app that exists on that platform. To what extent is are these uh, currencies and the success of the currencies, a referendum on the success of the underlying platform? Yeah, so first, um, Bitcoin was the first application in the blockchain space. Um, many people uh, realized that there should be many more applications built on this shared trustworthy infrastructure. So uh, we don't consider Ether a cryptocurrency. We consider it a crypto fuel because you need to pay small slices of Ether uh, every time you run a program or store information on public Ethereum. Uh, and it is indeed uh, a referendum on the success of the platform because uh, uh, demand obviously drives uh, uh, the price of the token and uh, uh, there has been demand. Really interesting to uh, watch this video and you know it does bring up a good point of the evolution of blockchain. Obviously Bitcoin was first and now uh, Ether is considered the second generation and in the future we're going to have a third generation. But it's very, very interesting uh, to understand if you are going to invest in cryptocurrency, you do need to understand the difference between what a first generation cryptocurrency is, what a second generation cryptocurrency is. And it's still evolving. Ether is still evolving. So um, it's very, very important that uh, you try to educate yourself on this stuff when you're going to be investing. And like I said, I wouldn't be surprised that, you know, in the future, we're going to have something that's even more uh, complex and uh, robust like Ether. And that would be the third generation of cryptocurrencies. So uh, really, really interesting to follow this. And uh, it does tie in, you know, the success of the platform does tie in a lot to the uh, cryptocurrency price. And that's primarily why Ethereum is the second largest uh, token next to Bitcoin. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. Uh, and if you haven't had a chance, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be uh, sharing news and my comments and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.